Hello, this is Tolo from Trifo Productions with another Blender quick tip. And then this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can uh, actually use this new, it's not a new add-on, it's just a, an add-on from Blender called uh, Project from View. It's going to help a lot when it comes to UVM wrapping and it's pretty quick and pretty fast. Um, first thing that we're going to do is open up Blender. I'm going to have to, I had all this recorded before, but I had too many windows open too many programs that had um, they were graphic intense and they just pretty much shut down my computer so I've not opened it up one at a time now but uh, opening up Blender right now okay okay then we're gonna go to the cycles render so using Blender 2.79 and in this view we're gonna press 1 to give us the uh, front view you turn on my keyboard press 1 and five. I'm going to hold down our left mouse button and pull up on the uh, Z axis. And now we're going to go to the top of our Blender window, the right top hand corner, and pull this across. Just so going to split our window up into three different sections. We're going to do the same thing again, but this time pull down. And here we'll have our uh, UV window open. I'm going to go down this little icon area here, click on that, and press on UV image editor. We're going to go to this section, top right hand corner, click on that area, and go to the node editor. Okay, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to need some more real estate in this area here, so we're going to press N on our keyboard to get rid of this little tab on this, on the right hand side, press N and then use nodes. We're going to drag this up, give us more space to work with. And here we're going to left click on this little node and press X to delete that. And then we're going to press Shift A and go down to Shader and then go to Principal Shader. Let's zoom in with our mouse wheel scroll up going to click on this little green node and connect it to the uh, material output. And we're going to use something in Blender called the Node Wrangler, which is pretty handy. And if you don't see it yet, or to activate it, let me say press on File, and then go to User Preference. And I'm going to wait for that to come up. <clears throat> and in the search bar, click on, or just type in Node. And when you do that, the Node Wrangler add-on should pop up and just check uh, the box there to activate it. And then go back to your Node window and then press Control T and it brings up everything that we need to set up our texture. And press G to grab it and pull it up with your, your mouse. And then turn this to from point to texture. And now we're ready to start uh, with the Project from view aspect or add-on from in Blender, which eliminates you know excessive or extensive UV unwrapping. So when we're back on our bottom right-hand corner window, press Tab to go into edit mode. Uh, if you're not familiar with that keyboard shortcut, all you can do is just go down to the bottom part of your window here, and it's in object mode. Just click on that and go to edit mode. And then we're going to press U in edit mode, press U, and then go down to project from view. And what Blender does is that it uh, pretty much uh, takes the view that you're looking at in your window and projects it onto the UV grid. And what we're going to do is press S to scale this up. And going to drag with our uh, mouse. And then press G. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Press S again, make it a little bit small so it fits actually on top of that uh, layout there. Press G again to kind of center it in the middle and drag it around with your, your mouse. And you're going to click New because we want to uh, have something to work with, so press New. And we're going to title this. Let's title it, um, I'm just going to title it Test. You can title it anything you want. And we're going to uh, turn our canvas from blank to UV grid. You can choose color grid, UV grid, or blank grid. Actually, let's choose blank. Blank is fine. And then press OK. 
and it's going to give us a blank grid to work with. Now you have to make sure, just make a note of this, whenever you unwrap anything in Blender or project from view uh, in Blender, make sure that you save your image separately whenever you do that. Because if you just, you know, you're working, you're saving, or, or you're working and you're projecting stuff onto the UV grid, you go up here, you click File, then Save your, your work. If you don't save it, this image as an image, when you open up Blender again, this will not be there. This will be gone. So save here and save there also. So image, that's where there's an asterisk here because it hasn't been saved. Your image hasn't been saved. So press image. Then save as image. And we're going to, I'm going to go to my K drive and save it in this folder that I created. Test. And just call it test and save as image. And now I'm going to actually click on this also file and save this also. I'm going to close out Blender. Let me save this first. Uh, K. Let me see Blender projects. You have to do it this way because, as I mentioned earlier in the video, when I tried to have all those ones open, Photoshop, Blender, Camtasia Studio, and so on and so forth, it just crashed my computer. So I have to do this, uh, do all these processes separately. So I'm going to save this, call this test two, also same as the uh, projected view test. Enter, enter. I'm going to close out Blender. Now I'm going to open up Photoshop. Cause you can do this process with Photoshop or GIMP or whatever uh, image processing software that you feel comfortable with. I use Photoshop because uh, that's what I tend to. That's what I'm familiar with. So I'm going to open the Photoshop. Click on that and give it a few minutes to open up. Hopefully it won't take too long. If it does, I'll just stop the video and start it back up again. Okay, so I've opened up Photoshop. I had to open up an older version of Photoshop because the more recent version is graphic is more intense. It uses the graphic card a lot more, so this version of Photoshop does. Let's navigate. Let me navigate to where I saved that UV image. And this is a K drive, and I'm going to navigate to where it's been saved, and that has been Blender graphics. I think that's where I saved it. Let me see, FG graphics, Blender graphics, oh no, or maybe it's Blender images, yeah, that, that's, that's where it is, click on that, I'm going to drag it into Photoshop, okay, and now I'm going to open up an image that I want to uh, map onto that face, so I'm going to drag in this alien that I created a while back, I'm going to check that to let Photoshop know that I've accepted that change, and th this is also important, whenever you save this image, this new image, make sure you save it over the old image. That way, bl you can save it as an extension because it's just UV unwrapped. But for my own purposes, I, I just save it over the old image. That, that way, I don't have to go and look for it again. So this is a PNG image. Click on that. And click Save. And click Yes. And OK. And it's Save That. I don't want to save this project. Now I'm going to go back to Blender to open it up again. Open up Blender. I'm going to open up that project that I was working on before, and there it is. And let's see it in the uh, in this view also. Let's go to Object Mode and click and transfer this over to Texture or Material. Okay, we see it here, but we don't see it here, and that's because here we have to apply it here also in Blender. So let's click on this, and it's already been loaded up into Blender. Click on that, and there it is. So that's the way you can project um, an image onto your mesh without having to UV unwrap the whole thing. Uh, let's uh, let me pull this down a little bit so we can see it. See it. Uh, full center okay so when you rotate your cube around so you can see that's only on that front face that's the only place where it's been projected because that's the view that we projected from blender so let's uh, just do a recap and once again you need to divide your window into three different sections 
and that would be the 3D section and also the UV section over here and also your node editor and in the node editor what you want to do is set that up and use control T to bring up the node wrangler which is going to set up your textures uh, texture node setup which is very quick and handy and then you're going to go back to your 3D window and go to the edit mode and in edit mode go down or type in new for your keyboard shortcut and project from view and once you've done that you're going to set up your UV coordinates at the bottom here and make sure that you save it in a different folder that way when you open up blender again it opens up after you saved your file project and then you're going to close that out go to your favorite editing photo editing software for me it's Photoshop and you drag in your UV image and your UV image grid and the image you want to lay on top of your UV image and uh, once that's been done you go back to Blender and then you import it into Blender Blender automatically does it so you're just gonna go to this uh, node window here and click on that and open it up and it should be right there so yeah that's uh, today's quick tip hope it helps someone and uh, see you guys in the next one and have an awesome and great day. Right, bye.